Hello there everybody, it's your Star Wars Dad, and today I'm going to be sharing some tips with you for how to win your very first Grand Arena matchups. Uh, you know, just early Grand Arena. How can you win those? How can you be ready to get them when you get to level 85? What should you do to prepare your roster for that situation? Let's get into that, and when we get done explaining and go over the tips, I'm actually going to play this final round of the Grand Arena to see if I can go 3-0 and uh, show that to you. So, hey everybody, uh, let's play some Star Wars. Okay, we're here on the Sith Hole account. Make sure to like and subscribe because we're bringing some great Star Wars content to you, Star Wars gaming content to you every day. As you can see, I won both my first two rounds here against my opponents, and the cool thing is, um, nobody has even gotten through any team, not even one team so far. You can see the, this guy attempted Anakin three times, couldn't get through him. Didn't even bother attempting the Geos. And uh, and then my the first opponent, we get into that as well. Um, did not de de did not defeat a team. Tried against Anakin as well. Uh, failed on Anakin three times there. So let me tell you my early tips. I'm just gonna keep it. Let's keep this pretty simple for you. Okay. Tip number one. Farm the Geos and get Geobrood Alpha with his Zeta. That's the primary tip. None of these first three teams I've faced has the ability to beat the Geos. The very the, the earliest team that has the best chance to beat the Geos is a Darth Vader with Merciless Massacre. Darth Vader with Merciless Massacre is the best way to defeat Geos. There aren't a lot of early game teams otherwise that can do it, that can handle these guys. Farm the Geos. Every account, no matter what you're doing, should have a solid Geo team. That's my first piece of advice. Now, my second piece of advice is a little bit shocking to me or surprising. Gear up Anakin, guys. You're going to have Anakin. You'll probably get him to seven stars, especially if you're going after some of these other accounts. Um, you know, generally speaking, most accounts are going to farm Anakin to seven stars. Look at this. These first two guys have not been able to match up against Anakin and beat him, and he's the leader. Imagine when I put Qui-Gon as the leader with his Omicron into Grand Arena. So there's the first two things. Farm the Geos, get Anakin geared up. It's going to be a good help for you, mainly the Geos, though. That's the primary thing there. Tip number two farm mods as soon as you open mods you need to get them open get those five dot mods going get you some arrows with speed i don't understand what these players are doing guys you should have very few arrows very few mod arrows on your characters that aren't speed arrows but here's example number one this is my opponent here's bastila my opponent's best team leader best leader best character look at those mods level one level one level one level one this is protection with some speed i i don't get it i don't get where the energy is going i have not spent a dime on this account guys look at these mods level one on this guy's best teams these are just horrible horrible mods what's the darth vader mods at darth vader level one across the board Let's look at my second opponent. I'm going to do the same thing. And you're going to see a stark difference here when we get to my mods against all three of these opponents. Here's my second cat guy. Now, he's got some decent mods, I think, on his primary there. Level 15. But look at this. These are tenacity mods. Um, you know, there's no speed on this. This is an arrow, a health arrow with no speed on it. Guys, these arrows... You, you, you need a health arrow for characters like KRU... Kanan, and then stop. I, you know, there are some characters that need health arrows. You should be selling any arrow that is not a speed arrow, especially early on, unless you got the KRU or Kanan. Everybody else needs 30 speed on their arrow, period. If you don't have a speed arrow, sell it. Go get speed arrows and get those. I don't get it. And then this guy, I remember for sure, his inventory. Let's look at his Darth Vader. Here's his Darth Vader level 85. Looks like gear 9 right there. No mods on Darth Vader. This is certain death. Certain death. Be ready to die if you go into Grand Arena like this. Farm your mods, boys and girls. And then I'm going to show you a final bonus. Let's look at one more opponent here. 
And this is gonna be a good example again. This guy, my current guy, Virgo Gamble Down, actually has mods on his characters, on a lot of his characters, but again, there's no speed. How are you gonna go in with a defense mod on Bastilid? You don't do that. You need crit chances should be a protection triangle, a protection cross, a protection circle. She is all about the protection, getting up with max bonus protection. You need speed here on these arrows. Don't waste time. Guys, even your other mods. If your other mods don't... Let's look at Yoda here. I'm just going to just stop on it. It's all health. You really want offense mods on Yoda, first of all. You want four offense. Accuracy. Never level up an accuracy arrow. Never. Just sell them. There's no purpose to accuracy arrows. Anybody will tell you, crit chance with no speed. Don't spend your hard-earned credit. Guys, you, if you're like me, free to play in Galaxy Heroes, even if you're paying some, you are credit poor. Don't spend your credits leveling up mods that don't have speed secondaries. This has health, protection, offense, health, crit. There's no speed on this. And by the way, a lot of Yoda's damage is from bonus damage. So there's really no point. I don't know which one it's on here. Is it this one? Deal special damage to target enemy. What good is crit chance going to be when it's all special damage? I mean, a little bit, but tenacity with speed. These are bad mods. There's no speed on this. Guys, let, let me take, I'm, I'm going to show you my, my Yoda. Do I, have, I don't have Yoda. I'm just going to, I'm going to show you a couple of my characters just so you see. You have to farm mods. You need speed secondaries. I'm, let's just go, I'm just going to jump right off the bat. Darth Vader here. This is uh, 21 speed. I'd like 30, but I don't have a 30 speed crit damage. 8 speed crit damage. You need crit damage on Darth Vader. 14 speed potency. That potency gets more dots on there. 17 speed health whatever 10 speed 14 speed guys i'm i'm just i throw away i sell mods if they don't get speed here's my jeep geo breed alpha speed arrow speed five speed it's just five but it's more it's more than these guys have got nine speed on my cross four speed on my circle five three speed there it's not a lot of speed but it's more than people are doing don't waste your energy. Now let's look at Pog. My Poggle has horrible mods, except 30 speed. I'm already outspeeding almost every character they have just by having 30 speed on my arrow. Speed is the most important thing you can get in this game on your mods. If you get nothing else, get speed. The triangle, I got two speed. That's a horrible triangle. Can I change? No, I don't have any speed anywhere else. The cross, nine speed. It's not even a great cross. This crit, this uh, tenacity, nine speed protection, 12 speed, 11 sp If your mods don't have speed, sell them. Get your credits back and move on. Don't bother with them. Man, by the time you hit level 85, you should have speed mods on every character you got. You should have some kind of speed on almost every mod they've got. Farm your mods. Um, the last piece of advice I'm gonna give, there's a lot of advice we could go through. But the last piece of advice I really want to talk about is be directed with your farming. You want to farm specific teams, get them up to the level you want them at, and then move to another full team. If you look at my roster, I've got my Phoenix where I want them, and I went and got my, my Thrawn too. So Phoenix, they're all at gear 8 or 9. I think I've got Ezra at gear 9. And then I stopped. I wanted them there. I got them with all the Omegas I wanted. I got them with mods. Again, here, look, guys. Uh, 30 speed, 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 speed. Crit damage. Oh, I mean, come on, man. Far, focus specific teams. Your Geos, your Phoenix. What other teams do I have? I got my Empire team with Palpatine and Vader. That's th that is my Palpatine Vader. That's my Geo killer, baby. I'm killing everybody's Geos with that. If they have Geos, these guys I play don't have Geos so far. Let's look at my Jedi. My Jedi aren't great, but they've been holding with Anakin in the lead. Then I've got Ahsoka there at level seven. These aren't great Jedi, but they've been holding. If I can get Geo General Kenobi leveled up and Yoda eventually, again I I only got two million credits. I'm I'm poor on credits. Farm specific Imperial Troopers. Look at my Imperial Troopers. These guys have actually brought in, have finished off and done some good, uh, have done good offensive work, and they're not even leveled up. Veer's at 85. He's gear 10. 
Uh, gear 11, I actually have pretty strong beers. Piet's only gear 9, he's level 85. I got Gideon, level 68, gear 7. But these guys have been able to come in. I've got enough speed on them that I can come in and outspeed. Look at Gideon here. Gideon's my guy. He ends up going first. I've got him with an extra 73 speed at 218. I thought, I'm going to outspeed pretty much every character that my opponent has. And I'll come in and boom, he'll come in right away. And um, all units lose 100% turn meter, which can't... So Gideon comes in, takes away everybody's turn meter, then my, my troopers are off to the races and, and it's it's over. I don't even, they're not even that geared. They're not even that great right now. Focus in on your teams. Finish your teams. Get your team, a team ready, then move to the next team. Get the team ready, move to the next team. You need to have that stuff done for early Grand Arena. Those are my three main tips. I could go on and on and on, but let's go ahead. We're going to jump into the gameplay right now. I'm actually going to play this final opponent. I'm hoping I can finish... Um, I'm hoping I can, I'm in the wrong place there. I, ho I hope that I can finish 3-0 here, wrap up my first round of Grand Arena with three wins, get those pretty, pretty crystals for my roster. Those crystals can only help me farming signal data and other stuff I'm going to need to get my characters all relic. I figure here's the deal. This guy doesn't have a team. He can't beat my Geos. He does not have a team that can beat my Geos. When I'm looking at his roster, he's got Bastila and the Phoenix in offense. Neither one of them is going to beat my Geos the way he's got them. He doesn't have a good Vader. Um, his Vader is down here at level 52. No Zeta. Uh, oh, that was last piece of advice. Get your Zetas on your characters. Your very first Zeta for me was Merciless Massacre. Let's go look at it. Merciless Massacre allows me to defeat Geos along with a bunch of other teams. This is a six star level 85 gear 11 Vader. This Merciless Massacre here where I just keep targeting and I keep hitting and I, I'm, I'm smoking people with this. I'm just smoking them. And I haven't had Geos yet, but I just killed a bunch of teams with that. Merciless Massacre is your first one. Your second Zeta should be Queen's Will on Geo Brood Alpha. That brings out the Brute at the beginning of the battle. So you automatically have your tank and then your Geos are off to the races. You want to get your Geo Soldier as fast as possible. You got the highest base speed. As soon as he takes a turn, you're just moving. So you get those two Zetas on first and then strategically place your Zetas in the right place. I'm going with Merciless Massacre, the Geo Brood Alpha Queen's Will. My next one is going to be Qui-Gon. I'm going to do his Leader Ability and his Omicron for Grand Arena. That's going to turn that Jedi team into a massive monster team that people are not going to be able to beat. Then after that, I'm probably going to be going for either Iden Versio or, um, and, and these are Omicrons too. These are, these are, these are going to be Zetas with Omicrons. I'm either going to be going for Iden Versio or, uh, where is she? Where is Zam Wessel here? You know, Zam's, Zam's Omicron and Zeta on her unique is just makes these bounty hunters ridiculously good in Grand Arena. And Iden Versio, I think it's her leader one, makes the Imperial Troopers your, your remnant, not remnant, sorry, your extra Imperial Troopers really, really good in Grand Arena. That's my other piece. Use those Zetas, build Zetas up and get them on your characters and get them out there. Okay, let's jump into the gameplay. Let's play this Grand Arena. Let's bring home this victory here and let's talk about how I'm gonna beat these. I'm gonna beat them with speed. Look, look at his Phoenix. His Phoenix, uh, she is actually gear 10 for his Hera. Everybody else is gear 8, 7, 7. They're not really geared. They're lower levels, 81. Mine are all level 85, but primarily, guys, his Hera has no speed. I, I know I keep talking about it, but it's the most important thing. His Hera is at 149 speed. You want to see where my Hera is? Because I'm going to do a mirror with Phoenix, which is not a good idea if you're anywhere close to the same level. But my Hera way outspeeds theirs. Look at this. She's at 191. I'm so far ahead on speed. My team's going to go and go and go and take a bunch of turns and wipe these guys out. I guess he's gear 9. I'm pretty similar gears, but I'm leveled. I'm higher level. I'm not super confident of this, but I still think my speed is going to carry me. You know what? Level 85, a bunch of extra speed. I'm going for it, guys. Why mess around? Let's get in there and see if our Phoenix can stomp his Phoenix. Right? Or his or her. I don't know. Could be, could be her. I'm not sure. So I usually try to get Hera out of the way first. Let's see if we can maybe even get her stunned. Uh, okay. Back with Ezra, okay, getting a bunch of her out of there, get a... There we go. Um... 
So far, not great. Let's see. Let's see how this works here. It's going to taunt on Kanan. Get rid of his taunt. Got the expose there. Got the stun there. His cane is taking a bit. I didn't look at their Omegas. We're going to get rid of this. Get rid of this debuff. Oh, that didn't work. I got to do with the... With the uh, okay, hang on. I kind of like where I'm going with this Kanan right now. We'll see. This might be a mistake, but I don't really want to get the counterattacks either. Let's go ahead and stun Kanan again. That's some really good damage right there. Boy, if I can get Kanan out of here... Give me a big shot. Uh, that wasn't very good, Zeb. Get a taunt. Come on, come on, Ezra. Oh, oh, I didn't know. I thought I was hitting Kanan. I'm not paying attention. Okay. I, an expose would have been really nice there. Let's clear off this daze. Okay. I actually could have stunned Hera there. I should have stunned Hera. Let's go ahead. We're going to have to do it again. That's all right. I should have stunned Hera there. She had the expose. Well, I'm doing this the hard way, boys and girls. Come on, man. Come on, Ezra. Big smack. There we go. Get him. There we go. Kanan's out. Let's get Hera out of here. Actually, Hera's really high gear, isn't she? I still want to get her out, because then they stop sharing abilities. Here we go, Stagger. Can I get a turn? Yes, take all our turn meter away. Offense down. Stun. Thank you. Whacker. Get rid of that taunt. Ezra, go to town. Come on, baby. Do it! Yes. Now we get rid of Ezra. I, you know, I, I don't generally advise... Phoenix mirror matches. Um, you can really get stuck in a quagmire where nobody's hurting anybody. But man, I had this guy. He, I mean, you saw the turns I took before he even got one. Um, just you, you, you. I, I, I mean, how many times can I say, farm your speed mods, get your mods going, boys and girls. It's just so bad when you don't have them. You're just gonna get outclassed by Nooch. Okay, we're gonna be killing Chopper here. It looks like I'm okay with that. Just keep recovering everything so much. Recovery. Okay, come on, Ezra. Finish this, baby. Finish it. Just stun. Now nah, I'm not going to get it quite. Let's get rid of Zeb's. There we go. Let me expose. Nope. Ezra. All right, we're gonna. right, I'm going to auto this just to get it moving. Smack Ezra. Get him out. I got to finish this right here. Come on. Wow, no stuns there. That's pretty amazing. All right, now just Zeb left. Always leave Zeb for last. He's kind of, you know, he does the stuns. That's really his primary thing. You, you feel like he should be doing more damage, but he doesn't. He's listed as a tank, but he doesn't taunt. It's really weird. So many tanks on that team. There we go. Our Phoenix outclassed his. I had I had levels on him, and I had so much speed on him. It was ridiculous. Let's see how we, well, let's see what fleet he's got back here. He's got his Mace Windu. He's got his primary fleet. Let's look at the gear levels in these guys. That's a pretty good Ahsoka. Where's his Anakin? Because that clone sergeant isn't going to tank. He's got to have Anakin in reserve, right? I guess he's playing Anakin in reserve. And he has no other ships. He's not getting through my Geos anymore. Okay, let's get after his ships. Let's do it. This is, gonna, this is a tough ship matchup for my... Uh, well, I now have gear 12 Tarkin, so I might be going sooner than I normally am accustomed to against Mace Wind. Oh, I don't have gear 12 Tarkin. Oh, man, I've got my... Uh, so, next time around, I'll have gear 12 Tarkin, and I've got my TIE Bomber, like, at 13 or 14,000 now. So, it's actually a really good tank at this point. But 
you know, going in, you register, that's what you get. So we're going to be going with, by the way, Palpatine and Vader in against his Bastila squad down south. So stick around and, and pay attention to that. So let's see here. Ahsoka with the whiff. Let's get some ability blocks and some exposes. That's okay. There's one exposed. That's where I want. If I gotta pick one place to put it, more whiffs. Let's see if we can get a stun on Ahsoka. There it is. Let's take her out. She's the only damage dealer at this point. Get rid of Clone Sergeant. And here comes Anakin. No! The Phantom! Wow. This is so weird, dude. I'm gonna get. Oh, Phantom is actually stealth. It's like bug. It doesn't look like he's stealth, but he is. She is whatever. She is stealth. She both because she's a ship and because. Wait, Hera flies the ghost. Who fly? Sabine flies uh, Phantom, right? I don't know. Here we go. This is gonna be uh, all right. We're going for a full clear, boys and girls. We're going for the full clear right here. Yep, there we go. Phantom and Ghost Shocker. Get her out of here. Thank you. One more. Ahsoka strips off the buffs. Gets some extra health. Takes a big old smack. Not quite. Where's my assist? Come on, soldier. Get in there and assist, baby. This'll do it. Alright, cleared that fleet too. Never saw Anakin, but hey, you know how that's, that's how it goes. Am I gonna, I'm gonna get a. I thought I got an accomplishment there. All right, let's get after Basila. So, Basila doesn't have her Zeta. Again, if you're gonna go with this roster, Basila should have her leadership Zeta. Just period. It gives everybody 150% extra tenacity. As it is now, I'm gonna land a bunch of dots with Vader. I'm just gonna make sure I kill this team. We're gonna save our troopers. I'm gonna bring in Solo to stun some guys and Dooku for some stunning as well. And by the way, if, if I can clear this team, that's it. He's not getting through my Geos. He has nothing to get through my Geos with. So if I clear this, I win. Um, we're gonna stun Yoda. I don't need him. And now we do this. Merciless Massacre, here we go. Bunch of dots, Merciless Massacre, and I can go around smacking everybody. I don't wanna take Yoda out of stun, so I'm gonna hit Ahsoka here. Let's get some ability blocks. Get some more dots out. Now we're going to hit Yoda. We'll see how this goes. I don't know if this is smart or not. Oh, he's almost gone. Now we go. He go. Give me three. Give me four stuns. No stuns. Give me a stun here. See if she had 150% bonus tenacity with that leadership ability. I couldn't have stunned her there. Probably wouldn't have. Shouldn't say couldn't. Can't say can't. Won't. Stun. All right. Let's give everybody some... Ev oh, there's no evasion. It's just critical chance. Give me a stun here. Get her. There you go, big boy. Let's get this onto... Okay, now we go again. Here's Merc... I'm telling you guys, Merciless Massacre kills everyone. It's so awesome. It is your first Zeta. It should be everybody's first Zeta. Your farm invader. Anyway, let's go ahead and take Ahsoka out. We're going to hit... I mean, look at all those turns she gets. This is Tarkin's first turn. Tarkin's fir very first turn. <laughs> How about them apples? How many are stun? Oh, wow. This is over, guys. I have won all three rounds of Grand Arena. You gotta take my tips. But we're gonna try for a full clear right now, so hang in there. What has he got in the back? What's he got in the rear? I've been seeing people with really strong teams in the back, which doesn't make any sense. They should be using those teams to try to kill me. Okay, so looks like he's got his leadership ability, right? Um... Oh, he doesn't have that. No. Okay, so... I guess it's a Zeta here to have one tank, one attacker, etc. I don't know why Veers is not leveled up here. Unless he's saved Veers. I'm not going to look at his roster, whatever. Let's look at Gideon's speed. You saw my Gideon was like 210 or 217. Notice... Oh my gosh. Don't spend your crystals on non-speed arrows. There are very few characters that, sh that should have non-speed arrows. Guys like Kylo Ren Unmasked, Kanan, um, maybe General Kenobi, maybe. 
um, maybe fives, you know, just, but I'm going to outspeed it. I'm going to put in my troopers against his troopers, and I, I, I probably shouldn't speak so soon, but I'm just going to say, watch what happens. Watch what happens. I'm, I have so much more speed than him. Watch what happens here. My troopers aren't even that good. Although Veer's at gear 11 is kind of good. Here we go. Ready? This ability right here. Watch all their turn meters disappear. Goodbye, Dr. Jones. Look at my Gideon. He has no health or protection at all. He's just ready to die. I'm not ready to die. And look. They've even got they've even got the damage. Oh, this is gonna finish him right here. Yep. They've even got the damage penalty. But I'm just off to the races at this point. They're not doing any damage. I get some. I don't know if I have days on there yet. Give me some damage. Yeah, that's all right. Do I have any staggers? I don't even know. Um, actually, I'm having trouble here. Let's get back over to Stark. Where are my assists? Give me some turn meter here. Here's an assist. Give me some assists. Stark's dead. Dazes? Do I have dazes? Just hit him. Just hit him hard. No. He's losing stacks. Okay, we should be able to get Stark out here. Not quite. Wow. Oh, yes. The finishing move. Finish him. Snow, Snow Trooper and Magma Trooper each have those AoEs. I think that Piet and Veers will be able to finish this, even without those other guys. It's kind of a tight match. He's got more balance on his team than on mine. That was the wrong move. Okay. Snow Trooper down. Let's get Magma Trooper out of here. I'm getting the assist now, boy. Magma Trooper is... Gone. Oh! There he's gone. Now we get the Storm Trooper. All right, there you go, guys. That's what speed can do for you, and some gear level. But my, I mean, my Gideon and my Stark, I, they're just not, and, and even my uh, my Dark Trooper, they're not leveled up, they're not geared up, etc. It's just that speed. You've got to have speed on these guys. All right, guys, that's going to be a W. That's going to be a clean sweep of my first Grand Arena. Hopefully, the tips I've shared and some of these examples, you can go back and actually watch. I, I did my first Grand Arena matchup to you. I showed the whole thing. Um, it's two full clears. This one I couldn't actually full clear because he, he just had too much. He put, he spent, he just, this is too strong of a team for this guy to have it back. He should have had that up front tank. It doesn't matter. Anyway, we're going to, we're going to win this first Grand Arena round. That's pretty exciting stuff and good things. And uh, hopefully I've helped you with your Grand Arena because Grand Arena is the most important game mode right now with all the crystals you get individual game mode uh, territory battles territory wars are really important too but individual game mode yeah no grand arena is the most important game mode period so hopefully all these tips have helped you the example of what i did just right there helped you uh guys have a great day out there enjoy your accounts i hope you're having a lot of fun out there and of course always remember nooch too good